Uh, all right, so to do a problem like this, I know we didn't have time to go over the factorial part. I'll make it very basic. You could flip through your book two pages and see exactly the definition of a factorial. We are gonna go, we're gonna go over that today. Um, but obviously, since I forgot to tell you guys not to do number 27, let's just go through a quick definition of a factorial. The only thing a factorial, guys, all it represents is equal. So n factorial just means one times two times three times four times dot, 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 n minus one times n. Okay? So you start at 1 and you multiply every single subsequent number or integer until you get to your value. So for instance, 5 factorial equals 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5. All right. I'll explain. Just a second. So we have 1 times 2 times 3 is 6 times 4 is 24 times 5 is going to be 24 times 5, which would be 120. So that would be your value. Does that kind of make sense? That's really the basics of factorials. Now, what they're asking us to do is to find the value, find the value of this sequence when a, a sub 10 equals. Now remember, 10 represents the number in the sequence. So what we're pretty much doing is putting in 10 in for n. So remember, remember how I said like this, sub, this subscript notation is just like functions? It's the same thing, right? I mean, it's the same kind of process that you're evaluating for. You So n, I'm oh, sorry, 10 goes in for n. What goes in for n? Exclamation. Exclamation. Right. Now, um, I don't know what 2 to the 10th power, but remember, like 2 to the 10th power just means 2 multiplied by itself 10 times. It's like 3 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, you can plug it in your calculator, 2 to the 10th power. And then, 10 factorial represents 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 times 6 times 7 times 8 times 9 times 10. Now, there is a, in your graphing calculator, there is a factorial button that you can just do 10 factorial. I can show you guys, I'm not going to go through it right now. But you can go ahead and find 10 factorial and divide by 2 to the n. So 2 to that 10th power is? What is it? And did anybody get 10 factorial? It's like 3,628,800. It's in the book. Three million six hundred twenty thousand. What is it? What is it? Three million six hundred twenty thousand. And right, which reduces. You can approximate that, which is point like zero 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 two. Does that make sense, Kristen? Because I want to make sure that you are following along with what we needed. Kobe, did you have that written down? Because that was an answer for 27 in your homework. They needed it. We didn't write it down. 